hello beautiful welcome back to my channel how are you all doing this is your first time coming across my channel you are highly welcome and this channel all we do here is skincare beauty lifestyles healthcare if you want to always get more updates on beauty skincare products kindly do well by giving this video a huge thumbs up like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel it's free and click the notification bell beside the subscribe button so as to notify this time there's new video so today i'm talking about foods sun blog okay mostly pe people don't like sun blog because they get white cold clean from the sun block if you have such sun block all you have to do is to first use moisturizer before you apply sun block of course sun block is very important either you like it or not yes or yes no or no protecting your skin from sun damage protecting your skin from any ultraviolet rays is very important right here you need to protect your skin from frequent exposure to sun not just only sun, it's also, okay, vapor from your cooking and all that. Using sunscreen is not only when you are trying to go out. You know you are definitely going to be facing anything hot or anything that would eat your skin up. You definitely need to protect your skin. That's where you can prevent your skin from darkening, from burning, from wrinkle, from redness and other skin issues. And do you know... A too much exposure to sun can cause acne. Yeah, it can cause acne breakout. Using sunscreen or sunblock or sun protector really prevents that. And that only would help your skin. You definitely still need to wear good protective clothes. You need good protective face cap or green hat. You need to wear sunglasses, okay? You need to avoid sun. Of course, there are some people that their job depends on them working under the sun. There's nothing they can do. Another kind of person, just get good face cap, okay? Print out, get good sunshade, put your sunscreen or sun protector, try your best to at least avoid sun. And anytime you come back from work, work take full baths, don't just go to bed like that. Use good moisturizer, use certain gel to calm your skin from any sun exposure or any sun damage. Before having sunburn, before having dark knuckles, before having all those spots on your face, you must have been seeing the sign. On your skin okay before you have some bone on the side of your face or melasma you definitely see the sign okay your skin will start getting red before it will fully become dark that shows that skin that face is burnt and it needs to show you always use soothing serum cooling gel to soothe it down and that would prevent any future burning okay so i'm here to review isis from a uve block 50 plus this on block right here is very good for those that have sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin like me this is lovely for you this would not break you out this would not cause any acne this would not darken your skin to protect your skin from any sun damage okay no any side effects okay if you apply this on your skin you should penetrate easily and protect your skin properly okay for those of you that don't like sunblock that gives white coating on your skin then this is definitely lovely okay you can go and get this isis pharma dermatology uve block 50. if you want to use this in the morning if you have good have good facial serum you can use in the morning or moisturizer apply on your skin first then after a minute apply this onto your skin first layer apply second layer again then you wait for at least for five to ten minutes before you go under the sun okay but trust me this actually penetrates the skin no white school scene this is made in france okay this is non comedogenic product okay and it's water resistance very nice if you want to go swim you want to go do sports any of your daily activities you can use this to protect yourself from any sun damage all right and when applying this onto your skin or you want to apply this on your hands if you want to apply this on your face and body, you do not be stinging with it. Do not be stinging with any sunblock product. Okay, apply general amounts onto your skin. Okay, let me show you what I'm saying. This is the consistency. It's really creamy. And it won't leave any white coating onto your skin. See? No white coating. No any white coating. You know any appearance of you use sunscreen there whenever you want to go out apply all over your face i'm not going out and you apply all over your face and body wait for a minute or two and apply the second layer all right while you are going out make sure you have this inside your bag so that after like two three hours you apply this again onto your skin okay so this is so you have no problem for those that have sensitive skin i don't like having the effect of 
white coating whenever I use sunscreen. That's all over my hands. But no problem. You go and get this Isis Pharma UVE blog. Okay, you can order online. You can get from a trusted cosmetic store or good supermarkets or Walmart. Okay, very nice. No breakouts. You get the best results from this UVE. This is especially if you're into skin lightening. You need to protect your skin from going dark, from having sunburn, from having dark knuckles. Apply good moisturizer. Use this to protect your knuckles, your toes, and make sure you go out with it. After some few hours, apply this again on your knuckles and you see that you'll be able to protect your knuckles from redacting again. Isis Pharma got something lesser. They have the UVE Block 30 Plus. They also have the IR1, which is the 80 Plus SPF. Okay, so you can go for anyone you want. They also have for kids. So don't just only protect your skin, protect your kids' skin also. For y'all that love makeup, y'all, you don't like applying anything cream, texture, or lotion on your skin, the UVE block. You can always go for the spring one. It's so nice for those that don't like applying cream or lotion. So you can always spray that. It's actually good. And the spraying one is also good for kids. This The one they have for kids, it's actually spraying so yeah, important things, we have two types of ultraviolet rays that reach the hurt surface, which are the UVB and the UVA. The UVA penetrates into the skin and causes skin tanning, aging, and wrinkles. And the UVB causes sunburn and also redness onto the skin. UVB can also be responsible for skin cancer. Okay, the full meaning to UVA and UVB is UVA is ultraviolet A and UVB is ultraviolet B. The difference between sunblock and sunscreen. Many people do mistake sunscreen for sunblock interchangeably, but the fact is that they are entirely different. Okay, the sunblock reflects the skin sun's ray from the skin and it also blocks the rays from penetrating the skin. It can also be called the physical sunscreen or the mineral sunscreen and some of its active ingredients are zinc oxide titanium dioxide you know which are actually ingredients with a very broad range of photo protection or let me say sun protection you know if you are actually using sunblock that is tinted it blocks from visible light like a computer monitor now sunscreen sunscreen is most widely used type of sun protectant it filters or screens the sun's ultraviolet ray that is uv rays it keeps most rays out but lets some in which can also be called the chemical sunscreen some of its active ingredients are avobenzone homosalate oxybenzone Paramino benzoic acid, okay? Those with skin conditions such as allergy prone skin should avoid subsiding ingredients, you know, like fragrance, oxybenzone, PABA, that is the paramino benzoic acid. And there's every chance of you getting skin irritation from your chemical sunscreen. Here is how they both work on skin. The chemical sunscreen turns the both rays into heat, which is then released from the skin. Remember that it cannot protect the both UV rays. It can only protect one and leave the other. So, but the physical sunscreen would filter and block the both UVA and the UVB. The UVA has a longer wavelength and the UVB has a shorter wavelength, okay? So, the UVA would penetrate deep into your skin and, you know, cause some aging and all that. The UVB does not. So, you need to get sunscreen that will actually protect you from both the UVA and the UVB, which is actually the physical sunscreen. But they both work fine though, so that would be your choice. What is SPF? I know most of you must have been wondering, I should see SPF 80, 30, 20, you know, on um, products, or um, sun protectants product. Okay, this actually means sun protection factor, okay? This can only tell you that, okay, if you apply this sun protection product, okay, it will last me or protect my skin for some few hours. Okay, that's for example, if you actually apply um, some protection or that is, let's say SPF 30, you have to calculate how long it will protect your skin before you actually get burned. 
again so you have to actually go out with your sun protectant so that after some few hours you apply onto your skin that is why it's advisable to at least get you know get spf 30 or above okay and make sure you at least always have your sun protectant in your handbag always have them so after some few hours you can do the calculation and you reapply onto your skin to protect your skin you know very well that okay using some protectants some blur products only that will not protect your skin you still need to you need to wear good protective clothing okay you need to use your brimmed hat you need to use your face cap you know your sunshade something to protect you more better even after applying your sunscreen most especially if you are you know in a place where you know sun hmm so don't joke with anybody else so you need to protect your skin by wearing good clothing you know wear something that will cover those explosive areas and when you are trying to use your sun blocks or product do not apply everywhere if you are trying to use your sun protection product okay apply it probably on those parts that would be exposed to the sun like your face okay your leg your hand your foot you know your shoulder your chest you know these areas that would be exposed directly to the sun and you can also go out with umbrella okay it's not only when uh, it's raining you know at times when you're going out in the afternoon you know most times you get born around that kind of 10 you know 10 a.m um towards you know 4 p.m in the evening five so you know you need to just be very careful even while you are inside your car now let's talk about the amount of sunblock product you need to apply on your skin to give you this full protection okay you are expected to use at least half teaspoon of the sunblock product on your face and on your neck then a teaspoon on your arm each arm okay so with that you can actually do the calculation on the kind of amount you need to actually use on your face your neck your ear and all that okay so do you know we now have the hybrid sunscreen you know scientifically things improve every day okay the hybrid sunscreen actually contains you know both it's got the components of both chemical and uh, physical sunscreen okay so for those that you know they don't like white cast or any coating on their skin or for those that you know they are scared of the chemical sunscreen because it will give them irritation and all that you can always go for the hybrid sunscreen it's actually good for sensitive skin and it will give you white cast or white coating which is very very good and anybody can go for that so in conclusion the sunscreen with the white cast would definitely offer your skin this protection this strong protection because it would actually you know shield and protect your skin more than the chemical sunscreen so now that we now have the hybrid sunscreen definitely you should know that there will be a minimal in the terms of the effectiveness of the sunscreen you know compared to the physical sunscreen you know, that would you know cast your skin and you know block the rays okay but it would actually be better than you using chemical sunscreen and you get irritated or you use physical sunscreen and you get cast on your skin me myself i prefer the hybrid sunscreen okay no much stress we have good sun protectants product out there like from CeraVe, from cetaphil from neutrogena from skin doctor and you know many more like that well reputable manufacturers okay so you can also try from axis pharma they've got various of their product to you know just uh, you know go to their website make more inquiries on their product before you decide to use you should you know get some information on products that you're trying to get it does not matter that you must get from Isis pharma you can try on that product but gather information from that product before you use it okay with this uh what i've just explained that should be able to back you up on what you want to get if you have any question on this video on everything i've explained so far so good go down to the comment section and drop your question i love interaction in my comment section okay so if you enjoyed this video like share and subscribe okay click the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified this time there's useful video like this on my channel so thanks for watching bye love